So we are going to continue using our little booklet and additional exercises from chapter 5, section 3. And what we're doing is dividing. Now, what I'm going to show you here is the technique. And we're not going to do a lot of examples, but the technique. So here you have a binomial that you're going to divide by a monomial. So what's the technique there? Well, the technique is to take each of these terms and divide it by your monobial. So the key is, this is how you set it up. And then you do your division. Canceling out, basically. 5 will go into there once. 5 goes into there twice. A to the first, bring it up. This just becomes an A. So your answer here is going to be 2A. 5 into there once. 5 into there three times. And the A's cancel out. So there is your answer. So once again, the key is if you have a binomial divided by a monomial, put each term over your common division and cancel, and you get an answer. Now, another way that the problem uh, appears is that they would have all of this over this term. Now, I wrote it like this purposefully because I'm going to separate them and put this under this term. So again, it was originally all over this term, but then I divided it so I put each of them over your common denominator in a sense. So here, 4 goes into there once, 4, subtract 3, so this will become a 3 there. Subtract 1, this will become a 2. So this term is going to be 4, a to the third, b to the second. And you can check your work. 4 goes into there 4 times. a to the third, take 1, yes. Plus And some of this, you may not have to do a lot of canceling. So this is going to be 4A, and the Bs cancel out. This will be the answer to number 3. And this one I changed a little bit from the original, but I did it to show you something. So again, all of this was over this term. So I divided it into three parts, put each of our terms in the numerator over the common denominator, and then I'm going to divide, which is basically simplify. So I'll do it without canceling out. So 2 will go into 16 8 times. x will go into x to the 4th, x to the 3rd, and these cancel out completely. And then there's my next sign. 2 goes in the 12 6 times, x to the 2nd, and again, y to the square cancels out. Next one. 2 will go into 6 3 times. x will go into x squared once, so we have an x left over. But here's something interesting. Here we have y and y to the second. So in dividing, we're going to cancel out one of the y's, but there now still is a y in the denominator. So keep in mind, is this a polynomial? Well, anytime we have a variable in the denominator, it's not officially a polynomial. 
but it's okay to have it as you do the algebra to get an answer like this. Now again, this is not quite the same as in the booklet. I changed it so it would illustrate having a variable in the denominator. Sometimes students get a little nervous when they have that, but that's okay to have. Okay, we're continuing with chapter 5.3. We're now going to do a problem that's called long division. Now, long division is set up like I have it here. And what we're going to do is to take the 2x and see how many times it will go into 4x squared. And if you're wondering how to do it, just look at this. So we're taking this term and dividing it by this. And this goes into their 2x times. So this is what you put up here. Then you go 2x times 2x gives you 4x squared. Then you go 6 times 2x gives you 12x. Now the rule in algebra to our next step is to subtract this from that. And the way we do it in algebra is we change the signs. This was a positive, now it'll become a negative. This is a positive, I'm going to make it a negative. So here, this cancels out, and we end up with 1x plus 3. We don't usually write the 1. Now, as you go to continue to divide 2x into 1x, it doesn't go. So in a sense, this is your remainder that you then put over your original number. But you may notice something interesting here. If I factor this, that is take out a 2, I get x plus 3. And I can always take an, a 1 out of something like that. I see now the x plus 3's cancel out. So my final answer for this is this plus one half. We'll do another one. So as we look at example 13, it's very similar. And we set it up this way. We're going to divide this into that. A polynomial into a, well, a binomial into a polynomial. And we want to figure out 3x goes into there how many times. We can go 6x to the third divided by 3x. Normally, you can do this mentally, but this gives us a 2x squared. So now 3x times 2x squared gives us 6x cubed. And that's what we want, so we can cancel those out. Then a negative 4 times this gives me a negative 8x squared. And the rule is we change the signs. These both cancel out. So we bring down our 3x minus 6. Now 3x goes into there 3x times. So that's going to be a plus 1. And 3x times 1 is 3x. Negative 4 times 1 is a negative 4. And again, we're going to change signs. 
This cancels out and we have a negative 2 as a remainder. So our answer would be this, and then we could say plus a negative 2 over 3x minus 4. Now that's one way to write the answer. Another way might be to take this negative sign from here, put this negative sign over there, and that would be another way that is correct as well.